Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape. Automated SFTP file transfers are traditionally done through scripts, but there's a much easier way. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to automate an SFTP transfer without writing a single line of code. To accomplish this task, we'll be using Jscape MFT Server a managed file transfer solution that simplifies business process automation through the use of triggers. Triggers is a comprehensive suite of automation-enabling tools presented in an intuitive graphical user interface. Let's go through this quick tutorial so you can see how it works. For more comprehensive discussion on triggers, you may refer to the online documentation. There's a link to that in the description or in the post. I've already logged into the Jscape MFT Server administrative web interface and have navigated to the Triggers module. For this example, I'm going to create a trigger that would listen to a specific file movement in my machine's local file system. Once it detects that specific file movement, it will respond by uploading that same file to a remote SFTP service. Before I create that trigger, let me first show you the trigger responsible for moving the file in question. So as you can see from this trigger's action parameters, the file to be moved is named Azure Blob Download File.txt and it's going to be moved from the downloads folder in the E drive to the test user files folder in the D drive. The trigger we're about to create should only respond to a file movement that involves this particular file and these particular source and destination directories. Let's create that trigger now. To create the trigger, just go to the triggers module and click the add button. Give this trigger a name, say, automate SFTP transfer of moved file. After that, select the file move event type. This is the type of event this trigger is supposed to respond to. Note that there are several other event types to choose from. We've provided additional examples in the description or in the post. In a production environment, there will presumably be several file movements, but we want this trigger to respond only to a specific file movement. So we need to specify a set of trigger conditions. I'm going to build a trigger condition that will allow this trigger to respond only to those file move events wherein the source file is e downloads azure blob download file dot text and the destination file is d test user files azure blob download file dot text. Click next once you're done building the trigger condition. In the next screen, click the add button and then select SFTP file upload from the action dropdown list. In the action parameters dialog, start by specifying the host name or IP address of the remote SFTP server where you want to upload the file in question. Next, enter the login credentials of a valid user account on that remote SFTP server. After that, specify the file path of the file you wish to upload. Because we use the file move event type in this trigger, we can use the destination file variable for this purpose. This variable already holds the complete file path of the file after it was moved to the local destination directory. Lastly, specify the target directory in the remote SFTP server. I just want this file to be uploaded to the user account's root directory, so I'm just going to enter the forward slash here. Click OK and then drag an arrow from the start output of the workflow node to the SFTP file upload action node. Click OK to finalize the trigger creation process. That's it. Now you know how to configure Jscape MFT server so that you can automate an SFT.